What? Oh! Yo, this episode is stressing me, man. Err. <laughs> My boy, Lirio! Oh! Karapika! Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing, set the bell for notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Woo! Miss <laughs> uh, time that chair. So, Hunter Hunter over the last two episodes really did something that I thought was very well executed. What they've done is, they've been talking about the Phantom Trope for, you know, since more or less the beginning of the episode. But we had no understanding of how powerful they were going to be. They took a moment to introduce Nen to basically establish the next order of power structure. And these Phantom Trope members were running up on the where all the world's biggest top bosses are going to be, knowing that they'll have a target on their backs and they were not concerned. They also took a moment to establish these Doms and they have these Shadow Beasts who basically act on their behalf and handle problems well for them. And we understood that, wow, these Shadow Beasts are going to be very good. These Phantom Trope members are going to be very good. And we have Karapika and his members kind of in the middle right now, right? Now, what I thought was interesting is that Uvan, Uvan? But anyways, the enhancer type of the Phantom Trope, he went against four Shadow Beasts at the same time. And they just built up these Shadow Beasts. They, they showed up on the scene so cool. And they got murked. Now, they did some damage, which I'll give to them. And I actually thought the fact that they did some damage was very important in showing that the Phantom Trope basically has, uh, they are mortal. Now, that's obvious. It's obvious, of course, they're mortal. But a lot of times when OP characters are introduced, you don't see him shed blood or anything until later on uh, in the series or the episode. So the fact that, you know, in such a short time period, they really were able to bring one of them literally down to his knees is like, okay, so they are beatable. They're just hard to beat. You sent four of some of your top people. They failed, but they're beatable. They're beatable. You just need to be smarter and or use more resources. But the bigger problem is that's just one of them. How are you going to take down everybody else? Also, up until this point, for the most part, you would have Hisoka has been like the strongest that you've seen. Kill's brother, again, one of the strongest that you've seen. I believe Kill's father would be top of the list as well. And uh, a couple of members, probably the old man in the Hunter exam. But, anyways, now you're like, wow, some of these people are strong, but. Who really is the strongest here, right? Because, you know, you're having an introduction of a, a lot more characters. Oh, there's one last thing I wanted to say. I actually was expecting, like, Karapika to put this together and know that they're being tracked, but to my surprise, he apparently doesn't know, right? Let's just go right into it. If you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. We're having an awesome time flying through these Hunter Hunter reactions. <laughs> Okay. Finally. So he is the first person to see it. I thought he would catch it sooner. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's the one that took all the uh, treasure. Nice. Now that makes sense. Cause like, there's no way they're gonna get away. But he didn't get all of them. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, come on. Ubu took out four, so there's six. Oh, 
Oh, they still don't even know who they are. <laughs> oh, they are some of the younger members too. Yeah. Damn, we didn't even get to really see it. They just got murked. But I like how they have rules. They're not supposed to hurt each other. Or snap at each other. Mm. What? Then how the heck are they going to torture him? I had dinner on eight. Just when my stomach is around. What? That kind of detail? No, man. I got my money on Uvo right now. Oh, yeah, he could tell. She, Melody, she can tell. But the fact that he's making a deal does something. There's a reason why he's doing this. I think that's what Krapika's gonna, Krapika's gonna put together. Oh! Oh! Yo, this episode is stressing me, man. Lately, I've been getting stressed in the reactions. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like the, the samurai. Wow. But of course, <laughs> that is interesting. Wow, that was too obvious, man. This is how Karapika survives. He's not gonna be there. Hisoka! Hisoka and her Kropika are meeting! That's what's happening! Hisoka just saved Kropika. <laughs> he doesn't even know it. Well, he, he will. Oh! <laughs> this guy! Hisoka! And the way they change his drawings. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's it's like Orochimaru and Sasuke. I know this came first, man, but the, the similarities just keep tying in, man. Cause I already, I was already saying that Orochimaru was had the similar odd traits to Hisoka after Little Boys. Ooh, done, done. Oh. 
Karabaka. Oh man, Karapaka had to be the one to punch him in the face. Move again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wow. Man, I gotta go start redoing some reading because a lot of ideas apparently were borrowed from Hunter x Hunter, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of ideas. I shouldn't say very similar. They're completely, completely different written, written animes, but I can just see like the parallels in the characters, so. Anyways, we're gonna jump right into the next episode. This has been a nice little development, and then we'll do the recap at the end. Wow. Okay, showtime. Wow. Yeah, somehow they got away. A spy will not stop moving until he crushes head. <laughs> it's a yes. <laughs> え、じゃあ、今日前は。え、収支なんで協売会場が盗賊に襲われました。え、その際にベーゼ言われんこ、途中の3名が殉職しました。there we go. Why? Yeah, why him? Kropika, you should be the leader. This dude doesn't want to be the leader. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all going according to plan in a sense. Wow. Oh, because Karabu is trying to get to the dad. The leader is the one that Uvo wants the most. <sighs> oh, okay, the beer is to get the uh, leeches out. Okay. Once I saw a whole bunch of it, I put that together. Uh. He knows. He's after you. Oh my gosh, I got full faith in my boy Karapika. It's just gonna be, how is he gonna do it? What the heck was going on in this room? She collects body parts. She's probably the one that wanted crop. So she's the one that wants crop because eyes. That's how it was done. The breadcrumb was dropped right in front of us. Wow. She told the fortune she forgets it. And then the, okay. 
a fortune teller. <laughs> you guys are just watching me and I didn't put it together. Oh, okay. Wow, this is good. My man can't beat your kid. Oh, and Lirio's playing dumb. <laughs> My boy Lirio. Okay. Wow. Wow, that's a true businessman. What? Because the Phantom Trope has the items. <sighs> Who does he see? Yeah. That's it. So the mafia was handling the underground. Now they're trying to put the, put it together. This is what I was waiting for. How does he how do you hear that? This is the most gangster thing I've seen in a long time. Where do you want to die? Guys, this is too much. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say to you is I uh, I thought Uvo was a great display of also showing Gaon's potential being an enhancer as well. Because what I'm gathering, he's straight shooters right to the point, enhancing. So that's kind of how I imagine Gaon to be. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's a coincidence that they've shown uh, Uvo this way. But this is heating up. Uh, so, um... Interesting thing that, to take away from this is uh, it, it, it's all straightforward. They're finally adding some indication because no one has talked about Karapika in a bit uh, as far as Gon, Kill, and Lirio goes. So the fact that they are now considering him, um, I'm, I'm led to believe that they're going to get back together sooner than later. I, I can't imagine Karapika taking down Uvo by himself. And if he does, I will be shocked. Absolutely shocked. Um, we haven't seen the full capabilities of his chain, and he has been, you know, training to develop it to beat these spiders. But he is just starting, and after seeing uh, Uvo's display of abilities, I can't see uh, Kropika beating him on his own anytime soon. But this anime can do anything, and they usually don't do anything with the BS. So we shall see. I'm expecting Uva to be, um, to underestimate Karapika a bit. Um, I think that'll be what his weak point will be. Cause we've shown, it's shown that he's a little careless and it was suggested to him, like don't be careless when you engage in battles. So anyways, we will see. This has been, I think this is gonna be a really good, 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 good fight. If you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Uh, it's your boy Rock Lee. Uh, the uncut will be on the Patreon. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Also check out yourboyrockley.com for merch.